ducks and all the ducklings are just roaming the yard. stalks in here are incredibly tall. Look at this. The tallest ones are at least 10, maybe 11 feet tall. We planted this corn about two months ago. Say, if you say two months is 60 days, and these are, let's see, 10 times 12, 120 um, inches tall. That means, on average, this corn has grown two inches every single day. What an incredible rate of growth. There's a tiny watermelon. Have you ever seen a watermelon that small? And here's one that's a little bit bigger. Such a pretty color. It reminds me of rattlesnake skin. I sure hope we get some watermelon this year. I have never had watermelon fresh picked out of the garden, so that would be a real treat. Here's the black-eyed peas. And I want you to see this. The blooms and the black-eyed peas are incredibly beautiful. Grace got a little impatient and decided to pick an ear of corn out of her garden, even though she knew it wasn't ripe, just to check it out. You gonna eat it? No. It's pretty good, you can actually eat the whole thing. When you pick immature corn like that, you can actually eat the whole cob. A little smaller than this would be better, but pretty tasty. I'm going to try to get our animals out in our back pasture today. I have just a couple things to finish up on that fence. I want to make sure that fence is really hot when we put the animals out there so they get properly trained to the electric fence and respect it. We've had both this little paddock fence down by the barn and our chicken nets way up by the garden on the same charger and they're connected with a long wire that runs up. I'm going to disconnect them now because I think the chicken nets are actually draining the voltage and causing us to have lower voltage on our fence. So right now we're getting 2500 volts on this whole system. Let's see what happens when we cut the connection between the paddock fence and disconnect those chicken net fences up the hill. All right, they're disconnected. 8,000 volts. That's exactly what I thought would happen because the portable electric net fencing is great, but it drains a lot of voltage because it always has a lot of ground contact because it has wires that go all the way down to the ground. I'm here in the back pasture. I just have four of these temporary step-in posts. I've got four spots I need to put them to make sure the fence isn't grounding out in the grass. Here's a spot that could use a lift. That bottom wire is just too close to the ground. And another spot could use a little spacing and a little bit of a lift. So I've got all four posts in, and now I'm just walking the fence line and checking, make sure nowhere's too high from the ground. Let's connect this fence to electricity and get the animals out there. This is the hot wire, or will be a hot wire, coming up from the electric fence, and then this is a tail end I left on my fence system around this pasture. So I'm just gonna wind that around this wire that will shortly be hot. Fence on. I'm being swarmed by goats because I have just a little bit of feed. Come on in. Here comes Dolly.
now walked out of our regular pasture. They've got food and water up here, and they're gonna spend a couple weeks on and off up here. I think this is gonna be a really good thing. We're gonna be transforming this closer to a healthy pasture land instead of a brushy area, and also giving our pasture a break. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, I've been waiting for it at least. I wanted to see how hot this fence is now that we've got, you know, several thousand feet of new fencing up. I've got 6,000 volts, so I'm very happy with that. And I do think that'll be a great voltage for these goats to learn this fence on. For water, I shoved a pipe into a little natural hole in the creek up here, piled up a few extra rocks and weighted the pipe down. And we've got running water for now. The overflow from this water tank runs straight back into the creek bed. We're coming right up on a year making YouTube videos and posting them on this channel. And I wanted to kind of pause for a second and say thank you to y'all for watching. So frequently, I say it in passing. You know, thanks for watching our video. It was another great day on the homestead. But I wanted to pause because you as a viewer, whether you watch every single episode, whether you watch, you know, one or two a week, whatever catches your fancy, you're really making this life possible for us. And you're doing that by watching our video, helping us earn just a little extra income from ad revenue. And that's been a great boost to our life out here. If you really love what we're doing out here, definitely consider sharing your favorite video on your Facebook page or wherever you are in social media, or just tell your friends about it even better. And we also have a Patreon page. There's just a couple videos over there. Um, Patreon is a way you can actually give someone who you see working really hard and creating really neat content or art, you can give them a small donation every month to support them um, for the hard work they're doing. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That was another great day on the homestead, and we'll see you tomorrow.